Namaste Soul Tribe, welcome to this pick a card reading where we're going to receive messages about your soul tribe. So who is your soul tribe and let's see what type of invitation messages you are receiving at this time. This is in honor of Pluto moving direct in Capricorn for the one final time. If some of you don't know, but Pluto in the tarot is the judgment card. So when it's moving forward, uh, it's actually giving back this energy, uh, this power, this um, shift in the scales of power, this understanding for people that have done the work. And what type of work here with the archetype of the Zodiac, which is Capricorn, this is a devil card. This is facing our fears. This is facing, uh, you know, our darkness, our shadows, integrating it, and also understanding the power of our minds and how sometimes they can turn back on ourselves, okay? And that's what we review when Pluto went retrograde, um, you know, for Capricorn. Those last degrees are speaking of mental prisons. And now that it's moving forward from uh, October 11th to November 18th, 2024, before it enters, that's it, Aquarius, okay? Entering the space of walking uh, into our power, showing the way, we want to make sure we release those prisons. And I've been receiving this call. You know, I've been seeing energetically people releasing those entanglements. For some of you, if you're interested in the cosmic alignment energy session for this energy and those messages, you'll find it in the description box below. I've just finished it and I love all the insights and the dynamic that I felt. Pluto is also eighth house energy. This is entanglement. This is how we bring and build contracts within ourselves and with others. And how right now we're going to be entering this new phase, manifesting our soul's mission, manifesting heaven on earth. So the ones that are vibrating like you do, you're manifesting this interaction, those events, those destined, faded um, you know, moments to occur in space and time. Okay, so let's look at those three piles for the message about who is your soul tribe. So who is your soul tribe? Messages they have for you. Let's see, three piles, please. And I was called to use the spirit cat, okay? <laughs> Some of you, if you don't like cats, <laughs> click off. <laughs> You know, cats help us attune with our higher chakras because uh, of their perception. And dogs, they actually help us attune some of the lower chakras and uh, some of those, you know, connection to the heart from the lower chakras. So they all have different purposes, different animals. Okay, so what pause do we have here for the soul tribe? Okay, all right. So, we have one color and one contrast. Okay, let's look at this. Let me read to you. This is pile one, two, and three. Okay, so pile one. You have the word passion. So, meet Ember. She is the light blazing inside our being. She is our fire, our drive, our fuel. She is our very life force, yearning and stretching in the direction of our love. Notice what makes ember begin to glow and burn brighter. Perhaps it is talking openly with a friend or cuddling with your love, or perhaps it's playing your guitar, scaling a mountain, or writing your story. Look for what that sparks within and honor it. Stoke that fire with intention. Honor your passion with time and dedication. Feed that flame with devotion. Let passion ignite your life with beauty, energy, and purpose. So, so that's your soul tribe. Pile number one. Okay, let's see pile number two. We have, ooh, you're going to like this. You thought you'd like this. This is good too. Road less traveled. Meet Silvio Silvermau. <laughs> You will find him on the well-worn paths of habits and normalcy. However, 
If you brush away the spider webs and circle around the giant trees, you will find Silvio wandering down a path with no paw prints. This road, less traveled, is often obscured by errant wildflowers and ferns, but if you look for it with an open mind, you will see its peculiar winding way. Turn off the main road and try something new, a new hobby, a new belief, a new way of doing something, a new perspective on the familiar situation. If you usually go right, experiment with going left. Okay, so that's soul tribe number two. <laughs> and last but not least, pile number three with paradox. Meet ooh, stardust. He is the convergence of opposites. He is the dark and the light. He is a magician that turns everything on, on its head, pawing at the paradox. He travels the galaxies with his best friends, free will and destiny. Ooh. No one knows where one begins and the other ends. He sees the good in the evil and the evil in the good. Within every blessing, there is a tragedy. And within every tragedy, there is a blessing. We think we know what is what, but stardust throws everything into question. Let the paradox open up our thinking and our perspective. Ooh, all right. Well, so if you do not know which one to pick, okay, I would suggest using the zodiac placement. And for this one, I really felt called to make you look at, obviously you can look at whatever placement, but I specifically heard either the North Node or, which was interesting for me because they were merged, your vertex point. It's the point of fate. Okay, so you can look that up in your chart. If some of you, you don't know, it's part of the options when you go on astro.com um, in the additional object. It's a V with a small little X. It's the point of fate. You might want to make sure you know where that is in your chart. Okay, this, this always makes me connect with, you know, this violent flame of St. German and how we can, through our own transformation, create all this potential of attraction, which is part of, you know, creating this new reality, creating this new um, earth together. Okay, so again, you can choose whatever zodiac placement or you can just go with your intuition. Okay, I'm going to use those four here. Oh, and us. Okay. All right, so pile number one, we have Capricorn. We have Cancer, we have Libra, and we have Aquarius. Beautiful. Then we have Gemini for pile number two. We have Virgo. We have Scorpio. And we have Pisces. Okay, last but not least, pile number three, we have Taurus, we have Sagittarius, we have um, Aries, and we have Leo. Okay, all right, pick your pile, and I will see you there for messages from your soul tribe. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your messages. So who is your soul tribe? If you chose with the zodiac placement, I suggested North Node over text point. But again, you can use your intuition as well. Capricorn, Cancer, Libra and Aquarius. Let's put those to the side. So this card, we read it at the beginning and it's all about passion. It's all about igniting a fire within. Uh, this, there's a lot of love. There's a lot of uh, joy for life. Just adventures. Just doing the things that light up your heart, your soul. So there's a lot of excitement here that's coming <laughs> from pile number one. Okay, so this is already an indication if you chose it 
um, you know, or that's part of your alignment. Your soul tribe is very much a tribe that is lit up, lit up by certain aspects of life. And we're going to see how uh, this reading is going to unfold. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know why I feel called to use first the Archangels and Archaeas here. Okay. But this is interesting. Very interesting. Because when I said there's no, I, I have no idea. It's almost like it's, it's in your code. It's in your DNA. This soul tribe is driven by a fire that's within that could look inexplicable to, or inexplainable. Sorry, my friend. What? <laughs> what are those words I'm coming up with? A little bit of a weird, uh, you know, something that just drives them. And they can come up a little quirky, make up their own words, their own language, okay? Um, but there's just like something about this soul tribe group here, pile number one. It's, it's almost like you can't help it. You can't help but be um, be that, okay? And let's see what we have, because again, all right? I don't know where this is going. Archangel Arya connects with nature. Okay, so your soul tribe, pile number one, is very connected to nature, is very mindful and conscious of the earth, probably cares about animal, maybe devoted to certain cause about animals, um, you know, being uh, mindful about how much or how animals are treated, working in rescues. I'm seeing a lot of um, energy that is being given back, you know, this connection. And as a result, there might be some connection to the elementals, the fairy, the gnomes, the unicorns, which it's almost like they're fuel here. Your soul tribe is fuel by, uh, by the creative force of nature. Like, you know, some of the etherical aspect, um, just because it's, it's just very heart centered, very heart centered here. And that's where you actually, and where the people you vibrate with. And that's, you know, if you've been looking to manifest this, this is coming to you because this is what we're channeling. Your soul tribe is coming and this is the type of people you want to connect with. Um, people are mindful about nature, about, uh, or even being passionate about certain topic about nature, animals, the weather, I don't know, weather patterns, what's going on with the weather. And we also have Archangel Jophiel, with time to create highly creative souls here. Very, very creative. And some of you, I feel that that creativity comes from the love that is uh, connected to the earth. This is a soul trap that is, you could call them like earth angels. Definitely earth angels here, pile number one. Want to create heaven on earth, want to create a better world, heal the world. I'm hearing Michael Jackson's song, you know, really wanting to, to create a reality uh, where everyone, there's a, a, an even give and take. I really feel a lot of vibrancy and a lot of devotion. Okay, so let's see what next. All right, so pile number one, who is your soul tribe? A very heart-centered people very much connected to the earth, earth angels, fairies, elementals, unicorns. <laughs> we have also, wow, we have the jaguar. Highly intuitive. Highly also, I would say, because this crystal ball is actually like a moon. You see like the little pattern on it? Um, very connected to their intuition. Their intuition is very heart-centered, might be also very connected to the moon cycles. And what I mean by that, they could be very sensitive, so they can feel shifts. Just like an animal in the forest, they can feel the shift. Oh, that's why I talked about the weather pattern. Being able to pick up on some of the shift of nature, 
I don't know if you ever have felt this. At some point, I was doing a lot of energy work with Gaia, and I could feel, you know, uh, places where events were going to happen. This is not something that I wanted to deep dive into, but certain times we're connected energetically if we have some purpose here with the earth, with the ley lines. Ooh, this is where I'm getting it at. Some of you, you're working with the grid work. Grid work, ley lines of the earth, earth chakras alignment. Some of you might want to look up at the map connected to where in the world we have those chakras. Yes, they, they kind of evolve and, and shift as well, but we have some ma major points. And some of you, you could be called to live in a certain country because you're part of the gatekeeper or here to create some of the new grids for certain chakra ley lines and, and, and the earth chakra. I, I personally have received some of those visions uh, being closer now to Mount Shasta, which is supposedly connected to the root chakra of the earth. Okay, so some of you, there's something here about the ley lines, your soul trap. This is the type of people that vibe like you, that, that you're meant to connect with. People that understand how energy travels, how we're connected through the earth. And this is how we find each other. I think that some of you, this is what it's saying. It's like you're through this phase, you're going to connect more to this soul tribe power and call and, and, and tap into those lines and tap uh, to maybe where is the next place for you. Some of you, because obviously I'm also an astrologer, I cannot help my, but share with you. You might, pile number one, want to look at your astro cartography, which on astro.com, it's called locational uh, astrology. Go and check out the lines of your planets and what locations. I was shocked to see how certain past lifetimes that I recalled, I could see the places in the country and I saw, like looking, discovering that only a few years ago, and discovering that I was right on because those countries and those lines were teachings and lessons from those planets. So I needed to share this with you, pile number one. This is the type of hidden depth that you have, okay? And I feel that some of you, you need to hear. It's like people might see you very lighthearted, joyful, and full of energy, but you do require a lot of self-care. You do require a lot of maintenance, you know, self-care, self-love, uh, retreat in nature by yourself, silence, introspection, some type also um, of rituals that you like to maintain to uplift your energy. Yes, this feels very, again, shamanic energy here for this pile and this soul tribe number one. Okay, what else we need to know about this soul tribe number one? Who is your soul tribe, pile number one? Okay, there's a lot. Some of you, there's a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's a lot of powers. It's some of you through this transit, you're going to activate new powers. This is what I'm receiving. Okay, let's see here. There's two cards in particular that I feel. Ooh, the wild woman. Some of you, wow, that connects very much with, you know, what I share, especially on Instagram, as far as the awakening, the rising of the sacred feminine. Some of you, you are, you don't have to be gender feminine, but mostly this is about the power of the hidden, of the moon, of the sacred feminine, the power of intuition, the power of... Um, channeling channels being channels for a certain passion to come about a passion for earth for earth mission for activating more of those extra sensitive gifts that are lit up by the heart some of you if you don't know much about my channel i do work with sound engineering 
And as someone that studied music in that type of depth, I can tell you the heart resonates in perfect fifth with the earth chakra, okay, and the soul star chakra. So you're, when you spark up this light soul tribe, number one, your heart is what guides you through the ley lines of this earth, but also through the cycles of the moon and the cycles of space and time to find those, um, those people, those, um, those moments, those opportunities to gather. And it's coming more and more so because this is what needed for this new age of Aquarius. Okay, let's see what else. The witness. Oh, look at this. Very powerful intuition, third eye. Um, and I would say here, you know what I, oh, I got chills just thinking about it. <laughs> okay, some of you, it's like you're a, a very strong mirror. Some of you, maybe you want to know about your human design because I do feel about, I, f I connect here to a lot of human design people that connect to this, this type of knowing thyself. Um, I feel here the energy of a projector, uh, here a reflector, and here probably manifester, and here generator. There's just a lot uh, in the people that are connecting to this pile. They have this type of depth. They will study different systems, astrology, Mayan astrology, um, human design, um, I forgot how you call this, the one that has uh, introverted, extroverted, INFJ, um, you know, this type of uh, those, the psychology. And the number 62, interestingly, uh, in the zodiac wheel is connected to Aquarius and the philosophy, how you put your thoughts together. Uh, you're someone, pile number one, that is reflecting also the soul tribe energy where when people look at you, they, they get mirrored back to them, all the things they have to heal. I feel a strong healer in you through what you send out as your vibration. Is it always going to be well received? Again, do not worry about this because that's not your job. That's not your job. You're, you're meant to vibrate and ignite um, the passion within and have the rest follow, okay? The rest will follow. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Let's see what else for you, pile number one. Who is your soul tribe? Very, very passionate. Obviously, we have the passion card. Mm. Okay. There's a specific order for pile number one. The soul tribe does not care about how things should look like. It feels very intuitive, very, very much connected to just following their intuition. You know, kind of like um, they just want to go to nature. They're just going to take their car and just go there. Here we have quests. Look at this. Be bold and mighty forces will aid you. Take action. Good luck favors the brave. I really feel here uh, this strong, you know, again, like I said, like be, be, this soul tribe doesn't, doesn't back down from just leaving everything. Ooh, that means those people will not have any problem. They might be very generous in giving people chances and opportunities, but once they burn bridges, it's like they're gone. Okay. A very, because they're on a quest fired by the heart and that heart's resonance is, is helping them move towards the horizons and the direction that is meant for them. They will have no problem saying, you know, uh, I need to move. I need to leave this place. I need to leave this relationship. Um, and again, if you chose this pile, that's something maybe you had to, you know, uh, trust, learn how to trust. But this is definitely the type of vibe you're in and that the vibe of people um, that you want around you, pile number one. You also have the confidence. See, look at this. Have no problem knowing they're on a quest, that they're here to follow their intuition, follow their heart, 
follow is some of some of you know that this soul tribe the way they move is again connected to what i said about the earth's ley line they're directed they're connected to the certain grid work bringing their light in specific places in certain groups in certain communities in certain jobs in certain interactions that is very specific to how they move through life so it's really passion uh, that doesn't really need I would say it's almost like it's it's interesting because it's channeled from within, but it can go in a very different direction when it needs to. I feel that you know what I'm saying. Uh, I'm seeing is um, the Olympic flame, like how there's this tribe would actually kind of pass on the torch. You might that might be in your blood, that might be in your ancestral lineage. Some of those gifts, some of those oath, maybe a star connection in your chart, a specific star constellation. But this is something that is passed on and that you, you, you can't help but just, you have that drive, just like champions. But it's a champion of the heart. This is, the decisions this pile will make sometimes will make no sense to others. And they don't care. And I love it. I love that for you, pile number one. Look at this sanctuary. Embrace the need for solitude. Your inner sanctuary calls you. Renews yourself and thrive. This is what I mentioned as far as this pile. Because it, it, it's so much light. There's so much light that this pile channels. And so much that is done behind the scenes. That it is a pile that really needs and requires self-care and love. That requires coming home to a place of safety, to a place of security. Some of you, you'll highly benefit. Some of your soul tribe are pets. They're animals. You're here to help them ascend to the next dimension. Some of you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and check out Raw Consciousness. He talks about, you know, how we teach the animals through our love, the energy of love for their next incarnations when they move on to incarnate as people. Okay, let's see. There's one more card here. Ooh, flexibility. Gently flow through the turbulence. Life has the ability to shape you. Bend, but don't break. And that's what we said. It's like this, this type of uh, soul tribe just knows when to stay, when to go. And some of you, that's something maybe that you had to work on harnessing um, because the only danger, okay, because I want to share this with you, that could make you lose sight of that attraction with others is first being with people that are too narrow-minded, boxing you into too much mind, okay, not enough heart, not a, enough heart field that regenerates you uh, but also if you overstretch your energy i'm thinking especially generators here okay if you are into human design uh if you're not recharging your battery your fire might spread out and start to be scattered because you're trying to be there for others when really the only thing you need to be there is for your own flame. This is not selfish. This is something that actually is just like your flame sparks up the next flame, the next flame, the next flame, the next flame. It's very, uh, very powerful here um, how this is occurring for you, pile number one. Yeah, this is, this, is, this is your soul group here. I love it. Very intuitive, very heart-led very connected to their earth mission, even if they don't really know the details of it. There's this flame that drives them. So trust that. Keep on trusting your flame. Um, I'm hearing the song Eternal Flame. Some of you by the Bengals, if you don't know. <laughs> this is old. <laughs> All right. That's what I have for you. Pile number one, those messages and details about your soul tribe. I trust this is supporting you. I'm sending you many blessings, much love and light. Please remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. Namaste.
Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your messages about your soul tribe. So who is your soul tribe? If you pick according to the card, this is the road less traveled. So that's a resonance already uh, from your soul tribe. People that will take a road that is less traveled that are looking through the unknown, that wants to understand the mysteries of life. If you chose according to zodiac placement, I have here Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Pisces. I suggested looking at your north node and your vertex point, but again, up to your intuition for that. Now, I gotta tell you pile number two. Uh, between pile number one and now, I had to take my time take a shower, take off the jewelry. I feel that your tribe, pile number two, is very, uh, likes what is simple, likes what is feng shui. Uh, oh, I'm wearing crystal. <laughs> likes crystals, likes, um, you know, uh, nature. In this card, it spoke about wildflowers, ferns. I wouldn't be surprised um, that you're like a wild child, pile number two, and that's who your soul tribe is. This wild flower among many flowers that has this desire to experience things differently, and it it might, you know, um, really stand out. I feel like you're standing out even though you're more attracted to simple things, the simple things of life. Looking at, I don't know, I'm seeing some of you like pick up rocks, look at little mushrooms. So that's your soul tribe that is like um, through the little details that just get carried on uh, this adventure that really feels that that's the soul tribe's resonance that you have and you're attracting in this lifetime that you're going to gravitate towards. So let's see what we have as far as the cards. So who is pile number two soul tribe? Messages about their soul tribe. Message from their soul tribe, pile number two. Yeah, I had like to take a shower, put my PJs on. There's like a very chillax energy from you that I honestly really like. <laughs> chill vibe, really chill. Um, let's see what else. Okay, so we have the soul retrieval. Oh, okay. And I have to, <laughs> because it reminded me, it's so funny. The soul retrieval. Okay, it reminded me that, uh, you know, taking all my time and coming back, I really felt that I didn't even remember much about this reading, how I was going to go about this. So I had this image of, you know, your soul tribe being you know, souls that just wanted to incarnate and kind of like jumped into the experience and, and believed they will figure it out. They knew that they would forget who they were, what was the assignment, what was the mission, what was their purpose. And they knew the road that led to this remembrance was going to be complex, but it did not discourage them. So this is what <laughs> I was remembering, just looking at this. So there's an effect that as you travel along this road, uh, pile number two, your soul tribe, you're kind of like remembering pieces. So it's going to happen to you. It's also something that your soul tribe does. That's the, their MO I'm hearing, you know, mod of operation. It, it's very um, inquisitive mind and yet very with the flow. You know, it's like looking into those details, wanting to understand, but um, there was also um, a message about hobby, new hobbies. So I wouldn't be surprised that you're very versatile, that your soul tribe is very versatile. So you might be attracted to people that come from all ways of life. You know, it's just, um, it, it just feels, and I think that's where the chill vibe comes from. It's like we're accepting of everyone's background. There's a lot of acceptance that I feel from this pile. And then we have the staff. Oh, wow, that is beautiful, because here I'm feeling um, 
And pile number two, I feel like your soul tribe there, it's like leaders leading, lead, it's like an energy of um, leadership. And there's no competition there. It's almost like your soul tribe is uh, some souls and people that are leaders in their field, that are here to come back to retrieve soul remembrance and probably a lot of uh, that that feels like a an old souls pile here okay um that i'm feeling deeply and that's why you're going to meet each other through the different interests that you have and that means that uh, you know it's like you're not necessarily going to be doing the same things but because of your curiosity and your inquisitive mind, you're going to attract each other and, and going to get a lot of pleasure from the self-mastery that each other share. I feel a lot of, you know, um, a brainstorming, <laughs> you know? I really like this energy, I have to say, pile number two. This feels really stimulating of the mind, stimulating uh, through the depth of the soul, um, yeah, this, this, this depth that I'm feeling from you, pile number two, look at this, luminous warrior, oh yeah, are you not, <laughs> you didn't come here to joke around, <laughs> I mean, yes, you did, because you make me laugh, but there's like, there's a, a, a spiritual devotion and dedication in you, just like a warrior's energy, pile number two. Your soul tribe is like the warriors of light, the 144, you know, all those those prophecies, people that came here because they knew they were going to remember some type of leading edge knowledge, you know? And it doesn't have to be like technology-wise. It's like, it's actually more from the ancient ways bringing back the ancient ways, the ancient wisdom of some of the other golden ages, star constellations, especially with all, I feel um, very much support for pile number two from connection to the stars. Yeah. And there's a lot of light that comes here, retrieving the light, knowing that in this lifetime, in incarnation, um, believing in the cause, you know, it feels like a very, <laughs> it's like a very dedicated souls here, pile number two. I love it. And then we have the lower world. Interesting. Let me, let me, oh, you know what? I feel like I'm going to read this though, but I really feel like it's with the lower world, all, all of a sudden, I started seeing Atlantis, oh, the technology, the crystal, oh my God, yes, crystal technology, sacred geometry, hidden under the waters, hidden from other times, Lemuria, but especially here I feel Atlantis, some of you, your soul tribe remembers, um, and with the warrior energy, some of the duality of, you know, the purpose from those times, meaning self-serving versus um, service to others. Uh, some of you, what I feel as a soul tribe is that um, you're connected to the raw consciousness. Some of you, if that's something you need to go and look into, go for it. I could even feel with the staff um, that some of you have been uh, connected to prophets from... Um, the prophets of raw consciousness. The, yeah, the, definitely this energy here. Wow, I, I have to say I'm loving those soul tribe readings. It's just, oh, it fills my heart with so much joy. You know, that some of us are connecting with this. Oh, I feel like this is something, um, meeting others, part of this soul tribe here, pile number two, is bringing you so much joy, is bringing you so much hope, is also reactivating uh, soul remembrance that is needed for the new age of Aquarius, for the new earth, for the five, the consciousness. Wow. 
I'm not that I'm not reading this card. I, I I saw I saw very much. Some of you, okay, that's a little extra message for the ones that are into astrology. I want you to understand that your Neptune placement is part of how you connect to the collective. I was very shocked to understand and gather this. My part number two here. This is something that with my personal activation. I have understood, I don't know if you can find this um, awareness, this knowledge, but I've seen how where you have your Neptune is how you're connected to the collective. So some of you, you want to see where it is in what house. Some of you, you might have it on certain points. That means in your midheaven, in your descending line, in your rising, in your imun koili, which is the lower world, which is the opposite. That would be internal life. But again, that that's if some of you have some comments or questions here, pile number two, I feel very there's something um, that I'm picking up for some of you that is quite um, activating once you understand your connection to the collective. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see what we have. Guardian angel. Ask for support. Wow, look at this. Pile number two, your soul tribe is very much connected to, <laughs> yes, the lower world from the past lives. I feel Atlantean time, Lemuria. But I feel you're highly connected to star beings, archangels, angel consciousness. You might be someone that is here with the soul retrieval, uh, meant to lead uh, in terms of your field, but it's a it's a it's an interest. You know, it's not the leaders that we see in the old template of the Earth Matrix, and that's something that you know. It's hard for me to actually put it into words because this is something you feel. Your Soul tribe, pile number two, is very, very empathetic. The number 39 in the zodiac wheel is a placement that talks about high receptivity. Receptivity of the senses. And I feel this is how you reactivate. And some of you, it's because you're highly connected to, um, to your cosmic alignment, to how the stars travel through you and make you kind of have those epiphanies with full moons, with new moons, eclipses. So um, there's there's a lot of depth, again, that we're seeing in this pile. But at the same time, it's almost like as deep as the soul tribe can go, as high they can reach. This is, again, where I feel also the leadership. Some of you, uh, it's part of learning the structure maybe of the laws of the universe, it feels a little bit metaphysical and some of you might be just even physical, the nervous system, the realignment of uh, meridians, organs. Some of you could be even musicians. There's some type, there's people here in the soul group that have very particular keys. And this is what I have I'm loving to feel right now because you're coming together. There is with this Pluto going direct for the last time in Capricorn, you're going through those last transcendent uh, moments of your own limitation, uh, soul group two. And this is where you're going to experience so much joy from meeting one another. I mean, can you make that up? Like those source... Return to oneness. 44 was interesting. I, I kid you not. In the zodiac angles, this is <laughs> this is a warrior of light. This is this is transcending your inner wars. This is part of Scorpio energy. This is transcending, coming. Some of you, you had maybe to experience a very deep contrast. And find your own very unique way back to source. Or just falling, following through a very dark path. Always being connected to source. Could be different ways, but there's definitely here a lot of protection. 
for what you're bringing onto this earth. Yeah. Okay, let's go beyond. Yeah. So pile number two. Who is your soul tribe? Yeah, like my heart, I feel my heart. You're here to activate the hearts in people. And this is part of your leadership. You are leaders of the heart. How to transcend the wars from the mind. How to remember some of the lessons of ascension, of how, you know, we experience those destructions from the past and not repeat them. Okay. <laughs> Just, wow, look at this union. You have seen and unseen allies. Draw upon their strength. Join forces with friends and flourish. It brings me so much joy. It feels like, you know, tearing up when you're going to meet those souls. Uh, understanding how almost like your way back to one another. Some of you, listen, I might be out there and I don't care because I need to express this for, for you, pile number two. Some of you, I feel, oh, there's a lot of messages here. Some of you, I don't know why, but I'm hearing mes messages from Mintaka, okay? Some uh, parts, you know, um, in the in the heavens in the stars the, this star that was considered this place that was considered like a heaven and that was compromised that was destroyed it's as if there's this pile feels like people that understand the concept of heaven and it also understand the concept of losing their home deep diving into the darkness of war, conflicts, and yet remaining in their hearts. So I feel as some of you, uh, this is gathering also of souls from um, a time where you've been together before and you experience a certain harmony that you can sense, you want to bring together back once more. You know, it's just very, it's, I don't have the words because I really feel like in this space and place, there was no words that there was highly telepathic, highly uh, vibrational communication. Yeah, I don't really feel the sound of like a language happening. I just feel a lot of heart. Um, yeah, I don't know if it made any sense, but <laughs> okay, Audrey. And again, I don't care. I, this, there's sometimes certain feelings I have to express, but yeah, Mintaka. And some of you, that might be something that you want to look up where Mintaka is in the sky, connect to the energy, connect to the myth, the tale. I'm not going to tell you more because if you chose this pile. Part of, um, I feel like almost like part of you connected to certain pieces of knowledge here and there or messages is what activates the soul remembrance so i'm very glad you're here because there's something here bless all in need of healing hope and love spirit grant us strength and wisdom guide us to the path of wellness you you have a very healing aura and your soul tribe is into the healing journey the healing arts and it comes in very different, <clears throat> wow, different shapes and forms. Um, I feel that part of this pile had to work on their throat. Um, as far as being able to speak up, there might have been some past lives where there was a lot of trauma. You know, it's now that I remember what I remember, um, I could never forget that as a child, I could never have my head fully emerge in water because I would get into panic and any amount of water on my face would really give me panic and, and scream and cry. And I would always dream about, that was my worst fear, drowning. So now that I know what I know and remember what I remember, I could tell you, some of you, you've experienced some of those 
um, floods. And this is, this is part of you healing those memories, tapping into uh, those Akashic records. So that's part of your deep, very deep, deep souls. A lot of wisdom from many incarnation, I feel. Wow, look at this metamorphosis. Trust the process and be patient. Becoming cannot be rushed. Change is beautiful. Um, this is something that I felt when I was getting ready for you, pile number two, is that I was so chill and I was like, why am I not rushing? Or why don't I'm like, mm -mm. like, it's almost like there's a part of you that knows that this type of wisdom needs the right chemistry. It needs the right alignment. And also you understand that others that are meant to come your way need to be also meeting halfway with you. So it's almost like there's a high understanding from pile number two and their soul tribe as a soul tribe that this will take time. And willingly knowing that this is where you get your devotion. Because you're, it's almost like it's almost like I'm seeing like an agent, a CIA, you know, like some warrior, like some superhero uh, that is just training. You know that life is a training, is a training, is a training. And then there's like this big moment. So um, this big moment of returning to source, this big moment of finally gathering and bringing healing to one another just you're here for the change you're definitely here pile number two you signed up to go through some of the chaotic moments that we're living through history yeah that's beautiful that's your soul tribe light warriors you know uh i wouldn't be surprised being able to tap into the akash soul retrieval healing arts High communication with source, with light beings, higher beings, elementals. Yeah. Wow, this is fantastic. I'm loving it. If some of you want to connect in deeper ways and open those gateways to this alignment, to gathering with your soul tribe, being in that energy, I do have a cosmic alignment energy session. That's for my YouTube Starseed Rise Up. A membership that you can find just below. I'm sending you so much love, pile number two. I just feel it deep in my soul. I love it. Thank you for what you're bringing on to the, the earth. It's, it's really deep. Namaste. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your messages and also understanding about who is your soul tribe. If you chose this card, this is the paradox card. This is Stardust and the, its best friend is free will and destiny. There's a lot of deep understanding, connection to the stars here. I wouldn't be surprised that uh, whoever picked this card really connects to the concept of star seeds, knowing that Earth is their mission. It's maybe not their home per se. Um, there's this, this very... Um, ah in temporal like like um you know like understanding that you're a spiritual being that you're eternal in this pile so and that's i think uh what your soul tribe resonance has it's like understanding the eternal flow of life of the universe how it expands this very expanded uh mindset some of you, it could be just very um, into quantum understandings, metaphysical understandings. Um, yeah. And being able also to see both sides of reality in terms of the duality, um, contrast on earth, but even going beyond it. If you chose according to Zodiac, we have Taurus, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I suggested the North Node and the Vertex point, but again, you can choose whatever feels in alignment with you. So 
Pile number one, I was all dressed up. Pile number two, I was chill AF, okay? <laughs> Pile number three, okay? I just feel a lot of energy I can't really comprehend. So let's tap into those cards because it's, mm, okay, feels very um, new to me. Let's see. We have the curse and we have the earth. Oh, wow. So this feels, some of you, if you know about Mayan astrology, this feels like um, the warrior, the yellow warrior archetype. It's like it's this. your soul tribe is here to remove the limitations of free will, censorship, feeling that you're a victim. You're definitely here. You, you see here, we're talking about the stars and you were talking about earth. It feels like you came here to help with the amount of darkness, the amount of um, repetition, karma. You're a karmic chain breaker. So your soul tribe has this awareness of purifying what I'm hearing again, purifying the miasma of unprocessed, especially the pain body of the earth. That means all its inhabitants, all the pain. You're here to help transmute this, alchemize this. And that's part of your soul's tribe. Um, it, it feels very much like people that are, you know, um, alchemists, magicians, witches, um, people that work with elements. And you can see also people that were into science and became spiritually aware of what's beyond. Because there's this almost like this duality that I feel for you, that you're very advanced in the mind in maybe science, in those ways, and yet there's another part of you that feels, the soul tribe feels very connected to the earth, to the remembrance, to the reawakening. I feel um, the soul tribe is very much about shaking wide awake. You could be some of the rebels, okay, part of the outcasted, part of the black sheeps, part of the ones that are breaking the chains of the ancestral lineage of, of the pain that your family carried. I just posted this um, small quote. It ran in the family until it ran into me. It really feels like this is a soul tribe here with this pile. Pile number three, karmic chain breakers here to shake up, shake up things. You could be I'm going to throw it out there because I heard it, um, a blood type, a negative blood type. And um, some of you, you might want to look into those research. I'm not going to go further. This is for you. You'll recognize if it's your soul tribe. So yeah, wow. Okay, let's get some more messages. It's, it's yeah, it, it's, it's definitely, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of, of energy traveling through you, maybe in your in your birth chart, you might be experiencing a lot of sacred geometry that is intense. You might be a yod bearer, that means like with a finger of God. This is two quincunx, apex to a planet, okay? You might be here for a very specific purpose, okay? So that's like a soul tribe that really knows they're here to break a certain pattern, break a certain curse, break a certain type of pain on earth. Has a lot. It's almost like the tension that those people here in the soul group can feel is because their high connection to source is like pushing them, pushing them to go beyond. Um, yeah. You know, I wouldn't be surprised, and I want to put it out there, uh, that those piles may have experienced uh, addiction. Because with this type of intensity that I'm feeling, 
Um, if you're not consciously aware of all this type of awakening, you might have gone through the path of trying to numb this type of intensity. Very, very strong connection to the collective here uh, with pile number three. It's almost as if your connection to the collective is part of... Some of you, the yod might be that secret. It's in your chart. Some of you, it's in your chart. What I'm talking about, it's like people that came with a very specific mission. It's like, I'm here to break this pattern. And that could be also the pattern that you had to break free from. Wow. Whoa. I feel like I just had a breakthrough. So I don't know if anyone right now is watching this. It's almost like what you had to break free from was part of the mission. And you breaking free from this is part of that mission. Let's see. So pile number three, who is your soul tribe? Wow, look at this. Ooh, I never... I mean, can you make that up? Like all this yin-yang energy? It says, Archangel Cassiel, face fears, or oh, face fear, and rise. You know, it's interesting. I recently read about um, this 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 new way that we have discovered to photograph quantum entanglement, and the photons, the shape they have is yin yang. Um, you're highly. I feel here, pile number three. This soul tribe has some past karma to process and it's either or and you know through whatever they inherited or through even some of their own creation definitely here remember this came with free will and destiny i feel um this reinforces this soul tribe's desire to break free, to rise. And I would say like for you, it's almost like the rise of the people, the consciousness, the grand awakening. You feel like, like people that are activists, that are highly moved at a soul level into, um, into making sure that we're here on earth to learn and experience this plane freely, like it was always meant to be. Wow. You might have a lot of entanglements, so things that you have to review to resolve some karmic repetition. You would be in a soul group that did not fear being entangled in that type of pattern. Again, a curse is a repetition of a certain belief, okay? A repetition of a certain belief. We have dignity. Take pride in yourself and all that you have become. Feel honored by your choices, achievements, and action. Pile number three, your soul tribe is, I feel, um, a lot of... You know, it almost feels like someone that gave an oath, just like a doctor gives an oath to their patient. Um, um, a soldier gives their oath to their country. There's some of you, it's like you have a very strong sense and that's your soul tribe. I came here with a great purpose. I would not be surprised this, this soul group has that feeling that they're meant for something great. They're meant for something great. Can we have details about... Okay, that's a big soul group. I get it. <laughs> I'm hearing. Um, okay, could we just get some information again about, about this big mission? Okay, it just feels um, change. You are transforming, let go of the past, embrace the light and joy of this new day. Um, you're here to help through the change be the change. 
Some of you, it's like not fearing and I'm hearing loss because through change, we do feel that there's something we lose at time. So some of you, you uh, especially with the entanglement and the change here, you might have in your chart um, a house placement or Scorpio placement. Okay, that feels uh, here to help with the unknown. This is part of and 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 how to almost like let this new version of yourself and this new version of earth emerge. And it's interesting because it's like I'm seeing as it goes through your soul group, as you let the change of whatever you're transcending, it's helping the collective do that. This feels like a soul group that is connected in very intricate way. Some of you, I feel, um, through the ley lines of the earth, but especially through the stars. Definitely through the stars. Can we get some more details? <laughs> it's like, I want to know more. Reconciliation. Okay, that's interesting because it came here with all this paradox, this duality, transcending and rising. Um... Remember the source of love. A loving action is all you need to begin the process. Reach out with a simple first step. What's it's interesting is that um, this soul group, I really feel had to transcend a lot. Just like I've seen myself in the past, you know, see when I was a personal trainer, how the first step, the initial step of committing to a new routine was really the biggest one and how in that first moment this is where the person needed the most encouragement the most presence and, and and then it could just launch it you know into that direction now I feel that this this is something you had to dig inside of yourself so you could be very strong motivators because you have a drive you are driven. This soul group is very driven. They're driven by something that is maybe subconscious still, but that is very much about ch bringing change and understanding that first it starts within. Now, I'm also feeling that this soul group is about change also in relationships, change in how we treat each other, change of how maybe families, uh, you know, um, exchange or communicate. That was the word. Communicate. Instead of censor each other. There's an upgrade here in that sense for the soul group. It feels, there's a lot of intensity that I feel from this pile intensity and I don't I, I feel that it's almost like a, you have access to an very extended access to source energy to pull so much strength wow this is like very powerful um souls dedicated souls here in this group pile number three about uh, bringing the change, bringing people back together. The serpent, beautiful. Again, it sheds its skin, helping with change, um, especially, I'm hearing self growth. So, this is people that are, you know, that you'll find studying about self growth, going to workshops, seminars. It feels, you know, people that could also be on stage leading speeches because they have gone through this this road themselves so definitely like way sure energy here in pile number three the smoky mirror helping with seeing through the illusion the collective subconscious enlightenment facing their fears facing the illusion that the mind can bring 
very complex pile here. There's a lot. I'm feeling a lot of people here. Yeah, I don't know who is picking up this 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 pile, but it just feels. Who is pile number three? <laughs> who is the soul tribe? Can we get? I wouldn't be surprised. People that do breath work. Kundalini activation, um, people that work on themselves. It's just, it's just, it can be so extended, this pile. One second, I'm trying to place it as, it, there's something about your intuition. And it, I'm not trying to fit the screen here. I feel like once I'm going to, like, there's a specific placement for things. Okay, this is for you. There is a specific order for you to gather of things. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. It feels like, <laughs> you know, a little bit like of a detective energy. Um, this is not this is not a straight road here for pile number three as a soul tribe. Did I tell you about relationships? Mm -hmm. Archangel Ragel, nourish your relationships. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at this, it's coming. It's coming together. I'm feeling it. And then we have Archaea Freedom. Enliven your senses. Okay. Some of you, you're going with this pile, your soul tribe uh, knows about kundalini, life force, how you connect to source, um, you know about meditation. This is a soul tribe that knows about the power of meditation, of going within. I feel here, so this is part of, look at this. This is total different messages, I, I, but I have they have to come through. <laughs> Some of you, pile number three, your soul tribe has a very hard time holding their truth, holding their tongue. It's a, it's almost like uh, if as a child, this is a soul tribe that just spoke up no matter what, even if it was going to rock the authority, the system. There's a lot of yeah rebel energy here that I'm feeling, but. And this is where I feel there is this high dedication for freeing our, freeing the people, free the voice of the people. And there is something that it's very aligned for you. Um, if you experience any type of censorship, I would say here you could have some um, planet in retrogrades. I would say, especially Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. Pluto, then you could put Neptune. Yeah, all you know, like it, it, there's a lot of retrogrades that I feel here, a lot of experiences, and okay. So let me continue. So you're here, this soul group, a lot of censorship that is going to like want you to make sure that you stay free, and through your incarnation on Earth and the relationships, your relationships are part of what creates the change. Whether you find relationships that uh, entrap you or that are good for you and expand you in a um, less contrasted way. But I feel a lot of past karma to attract relationships that you had to shed through going within and through seeing the illusions of maybe why you were attracted to certain dynamics. Very interesting, very, very uncertain path. So your soul group, definitely uh, along the lines of the hero's journey. Some of you, if you haven't read that book, the hero's journey, go and check it out. I don't remember the author, but I really feel that's uh, part of your soul's uh, tribe here. People are very connected to bringing change, freedom, free speech to the people. It could be into politics, okay? Let's see if there's anything else. I feel there's something else. It might be not related to all of this. Pile. I, I told you, there's a lot of, with communication. You might want to look at where your Mercury is 
might be some messages here with your Mercury placement. Pile number three. What is their soul tribe? I feel there's another message. Let me see. Ooh, stand still. Wow. And the flow. Wow. You know, I, I really feel for you. Okay. Pile number three. This is big. This is big. Your soul tribe. It's almost like your... All the work you're doing for yourself, for your improvement, working through your own karma, resolving some of your complex contrast, the curses, the repetition you had to break free from, your soul tribe is like almost like a this energy where your full mission, your full purpose, your full... Um, path of action is at a standstill until this feels in flow there's so it's in it's written in the stars when this will happen can i get some details about that <laughs> i'm almost like audrey are you asking too much Ooh, anticipation something wonderful is happening change is in the air open yourself to blessings on their way it's coming be be ready you're getting ready to be ready to be ready for something big here and everything you've learned about paradox about breaking uh you know uh free from certain limitations perceptions patterns is part of this activation and it's it's going to be coming forward soon soon and again it's it's because as a soul tribe you're getting ready together you're getting vibrationally ready it's almost like i'm feeling like when the people are meant to rise up when this consciousness is meant to rise up it's like that's why i'm feeling so many uh there because your vibration this soul's group vibration your dedication and everything you've worked on as a self when the moment is right it's like a wildfire your vibration is going to like resonate. This is beautiful. I love it. That's what I have for you. <laughs> Pile number three. You took me on a whole journey. I, I told you I felt like I really did not know where I was going. Um, I'm loving this. Some of you, if you are interested in cosmic alignment energy sessions, we work with, uh, you know, breath work, tuning forks, mantra, stretches that help with the lines of energy okay that can help you feel in alignment with this those messages not just hear them but if you chose it and, and like there's something that you feel is calling you and you need a little bit of energy support then you can find it down below this access to this meditation for the star membership of the star seed rise up i'm sending you many blessings and much love and light namaste